Hello Leo. Welcome to your mid-October 2021 tarot reading. This reading may or may not be your story. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and roles can be vice versa. Today for the tarot, I am using Aunt Lily's tarot. <clears throat> I did my unboxing video already. Uh, there is a link in the description box to her website and a coupon code that you can use to get 15% off of this deck. And I am using the other new deck that I got, which, which is a version of the Tarot de Marseilles, the Ancient Italian Edition. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. Oh, if you like a private reading, uh, my contact information is in the description box below. I am running my Halloween special now through midnight on Halloween. Um, a 30-minute reading is $50. That is $15 off the regular price. Okay, my slots are filling up very quickly. So let's go ahead and get into it. We've got fulfillment. Flexibility. And diligence. Okay, what I'm getting here, Leo, is you're looking for some kind of fulfillment in your life. Like there is something missing. And you've been waiting very patiently. You've been very diligent. But there may be a need of flexibility. And what I'm picking up on is not being too harsh on yourself being flexible and open to new ideas and new approaches so that your fruit can come in, so that your plants can bear fruit and fruits of your labor. I mean, it's at your hands, it's at your fingertips, but you might have to kind of think outside the box, be a little bit flexible. And as long as you stay diligent with it, you're going to reach that goal. Okay. So, let's see what else comes up for you guys. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. The Nine of Wands in the reverse reminds me of somebody that is <clears throat> maybe a little bit out of control. Somebody who is a little bit narcissistic. Um, I get this image of reckless behavior. So whether this is somebody that you are dealing with or maybe you have been engaging in some reckless behavior lately, Leo, um, not sure. But I think this is about slowing down. Might even have some racing thoughts here. Five of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, I think that there is a fear of being left out in the cold. Winter is coming on. So I feel that this is something associated with winter time as well. That's the first I get. I'm seeing the snow more than anything. But I'm feeling like maybe there is somebody that left you cold, left you out in the cold, or maybe you are leaving somebody out in the cold. Okay. And you are going in another direction or they are. Take it as it resonates because roles can be vice versa. But somebody's leaving somebody out in the cold. And I feel that this has something to do with winter time or leading up to winter. Then we have the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is a very clear storyline here. You know, needing to go and leave something behind. And this is your way of self-care. Gaining off by yourself. Now, the Five of Pentacles is also, I'm seeing like somebody that may have been injured okay that it doesn't mean it could be physical it could be mental and emotional but and I'm feeling like a lot of emotional here and I'm feeling like that you need to go in order to be by yourself this is a loneliness card being alone as well being by yourself and doing some self-care things and needing to 
meditate, get your grounding, and heal. Then we have the Four of Wands. This is a restoration of stability. Okay, a celebration. Maybe celebrating yourself, your accomplishments, getting through a really rough time. Seven of Cups in the reverse. You may have been in this space of confusion, not knowing what to do next, what options to take, who to trust. But with it being in the reverse, this is shattered illusions. You are seeing things very clearly and you know what you want. I f and I feel like you've made your choice. You made your mind up for what you need to do. Then we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So I'm feeling like putting the brakes on something. There's definitely some kind of ending here. We've got two Knights and both in the reverse. It could be extreme energy. But in the reverse, he lacks focus. So I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you, make sure you are very clear on what you're doing and where you're going. Don't just haphazardly run off. Okay, I'm hearing you need to make a plan. Under the deck, we have the sun card. There's your card right there. And this is illumination. The sun is nurturing and healing. And that is the overall feel that I get from this reading. That nurturing, that growth, that vitality. It is like your vitality being restored and it involves you needing to go off by yourself, I feel, and you are healing yourself, thinking things through. And then by the end of your thinking, you know, there's this thing about building a foundation and some sense of stability here. No longer seeing things, no longer having that illusion. This is like taking off the rose-colored glasses and seeing things clearly, but there's still this chaotic energy that you got to deal with, and I feel that that is your challenge. It's just like you want to go off without a plan, and Spirit is saying you need to make a plan. Okay, let's get some clarifications. Okay, what is this Knight of Wands in the reverse, please? Three of Cups. This could be partying. This could be un excessive behavior. You know, some of you may need to be careful about your alcohol consumption or any other substance. But I'm hearing expanding your horizons emotional satisfaction eight of swords I'm hearing an escape from reality and this is what um, the divine is cautioning you against this escape from reality that that's not the way to go about this because when you come back to reality the issue is still there you need to heal yourself and have, do some self-care, not try to escape reality. Okay, what is the Five of Pentacles, please? We have the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. I think you're very protective of your heart. I think that this... The Six of Cups is memories of the past, memory, remembering the past, going off on your own. Um, seven of Wands is like feeling like you're backed into a corner. So some of you may feel like you're backed into a corner, and that's why you feel like some of you may be afraid you're going to lose your housing, being out in the cold. Others of you, there is this some an issue in the past that was very painful, very hurtful. And you are, you definitely have your guard up. And let's see what this Queen of Cups is saying in regards to this.
We have four of wands again. So she is going off by herself to heal herself, to get some kind of grounding, get some sense of stability back, and to close out a cycle. Successful completion. So I see you going off by yourself, being alone, healing yourself, and being successful. Okay, tell me about this four of wands, please. Okay, we have the three of pentacles. This could be a job offer. You might end up with a job offer that is secure. Ace of Cups. Okay. I'm hearing some of you may get a job offer of something that you've been longing for, something that you love that is going to bring stability. Okay. Ooh. Seven of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. A decision. And the Four of Swords. So, this is definitely, uh, you're, you're still kind of undecided for sure what you want, but you're taking your time, and, th and this is about taking your time and thinking things clearly, not rushing. You know, the, the divine is really stressing that, not doing stuff haphazardly, not having, or not having a plan can be disastrous. You need to come up with a plan. Okay, let's see what this Knight of Swords in the reverse is. We have the tower. There you go. Acting haphazardly can bring a tower moment and threaten your own security, your own foundations. Okay, so there is definitely a caution and a warning here. Page of Wands. Communications, a new path. This is planning your new path. So again, the universe is saying, okay, and the warning here, you know, you might be running from something. You might feel like somebody's chasing you. Um, you're looking over your shoulder. What are you looking over your shoulder at? Justice. You know, I feel like justice is going to be served. This is doing the right thing, making the right choices and decisions and weighing your decisions. Um, not acting like a fool. Not making foolish decisions. Really thinking things out very carefully. Plan your trip, your escape, your future. Don't go into it haphazardly. Okay, that's what I have for you. Bye.